before I open up FL Studio, I plug in my USB drums. Just like that, wait for the sound. Then I open up FL Studio. <clears throat> and to confirm that it's reading it, I go to options and then MIDI settings. And right here on output, I mean input, there should be USB MIDI drum. It's a generic controller, that's just how Windows reads it. Um, if that if it's in the list, then that means it worked without drivers. And to use it, you have to click the enable icon right there. And then that's it. Then you hit X. And now it's a MIDI controller for whatever sample you happen to be on. Um, this case, we're going to use um, addictive drums. So I have a preset saved to save us some time of it mapped out already. So let's load it real quick. So what if you have the stock USB drums? from ION. Um, you only have three toms, a crash, a hi-hat, and a kick. So that's all you have. And obviously there's a lot more here. So I just assign which ones I want to the USB drums. So I have, I, I utilize this tom. I think, let me check it out. Oh no. I utilize the middle tom, the low tom, and the floor tom. And I also prefer rides over crashes, so I assign my ride to my crash and uh, the hi-hat, of course, right there, and the snare one. So now the hard part is assigning them. So you have to go one by one. We'll start with the hi-hat. You click this little E icon. I don't know if you can see it, but right in the corner is the letter E. Click it. It opens up. It stands for edit. It opens up um, your editing options here for the hi-hat. Um, from here you could choose different hi-hats by using the arrows up and down but um, that's not what this is about. This is about assigning it. So, again, to the right of where it says hi-hat, there's gonna be a little circular icon. It says open mapping window. And that's exactly what we wanna do. We wanna map our drums to the different keys that it has assigned each instrument. So. Uh, what I learned is, um, after going into the hi-hat, it breaks down to different hi-hats. So each drum kit is going to have a different kind of hi-hat. It's not just a single, you got that, an open one. So right now we're doing, we're actually doing the open hi-hat because there's no foot on the pedal. So if you want to open one, you pick any one of these. There's a ton of them, ton of open ones. Um, and right next to the one that you like, there's a letter L. And when you pop it open, it says learn from MIDI. So basically, let's say I wanted um, open A, I hit the L button and it learns from the MIDI. So with that button pressed, I hit my open hi-hat on my USB drums. And now it just learned that every time I hit that without the foot on the pedal, this is the one it's going to play on every drum kit. High open A. Okay, the closed hat one is a little difficult. Um, if it's set up like mine, it's going to be. Um, 
it's gonna be this F sharp here in the first, in the positive one octave. So um, if you're not sure, or if that's not how it's set up, when you're in this menu option, just um, push the push the pedal for the hi-hat down and then hit the hi-hat until you see the key on the keyboard light up. So I'll, sh I'll go do that right now so you can see what I'm talking about. That's the pedal pushing down and now I'm going to hit the hat while my pedal's down. Okay. So I don't know if you saw it, but it showed this little icon right there. So just by clicking this icon, I see that it's the F sharp key. Um, so if you want to assign that a different sound, uh, say you want, say you want. Um, Let's see. Say you want that as your closed hat. You see how it's lighting up this key? Well, all you have to do is click it and drag it to the F sharp key. And that is now your sample for when you do the closed hat. I will show you again. But for some reason, I, oh, I lost the, the other shaft sound, so I'll put that one here, and now I have a shaft sound. Okay. Uh, now I'll do the kick. Just go to the edit. Then go to the mapping. And there's only one kick in every kit, so that's less confusing. I should have started off with the kick. Um, so you just hit kick, uh, and if I remember correctly, it's already the kick is already assigned to the proper key in uh, Addictive Audio. But just in case it's not, again, click the L, then go ahead and push your kick pedal. There you go. Now it's learned that. Um, now we'll move on to. Uh, we'll go back to the kit and then go to the tom. And like I said, I, I like the medium tom for my high tom. So we'll edit that, hit the E. Then hit the circle over here for the mapping. And you'll notice you have two variations. So every kit is going to have two variations of the mid tom. You have the open hit and the rim shot. I like the open hit, so I'm going to learn it and go ahead and hit my high tom. And now it's assigned. Then I hit OK. Go back to the kit. I'm going to assign my middle tom with my low tom. So edit, map it. Again, I like open, so I'm going to learn it. And I learned it. And you hit OK. Back to the kit. And I'm going to go to my floor tom, which I'm going to assign to my low tom on my USB drums. Edit. Map it. Open. So I'm going to learn it. Uh, learn. that's learned. Hit OK. Back to the kit. And now we have um, our snare. We can learn our snare now. <laughs> Edit. Map it. And now, as you can see, uh, there is a ton of snare options. So if you like to have multiple snare options, what you could do is forfeit one of your toms or whatever, but I like to have three toms and a snare, so uh, I'm forced to pick only one of these awesome options. I mean, there's rim shot, open, shallow, 
sticks. I mean, um, so you can customize a kit, uh, I guess, however you want. Um, snare rim shot, open hit. And um, I don't know what all this stuff here stands for. But apparently this is the one I have set up, so that's the one I like. Oh, maybe not. I'm lying to you. I have the open hit, so apparently I like the open hit more than all these options. So I learn it. There you go. If I didn't like it, say I wanted a stick, I just hit the stick, learn it. And now my snare drum sounds like a stick. And I'll show you uh, the sticks change with every kit. I mean, that's not the only stick sound you're gonna get depending on what kit you pick. There's gonna be multiple different uh, sounds for the stick. So um, I, I'll keep it so I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there's, uh, now we have the crash. So let's go back to the kit. Uh, like I said, I like to use the ride. So we go to edit. Map. I like the tip. Uh, yeah, so let's learn it. And now it's a sign. And there's the kit. So, um, if we go to kit, I'll go ahead and play all the uh, instruments we assigned really quick. So the most important part here is uh, saving your preset. So um, once you got your preset all done, you just go up to this little arrow right here, uh, save preset as, I'll leave mine as, I'll name it as stick. So I know I have sticks for my snares. Then hit enter. And now that preset is saved. So now anytime you go into um, FL Studio and insert a new um, Addictive Drums VST. Man, I, I have such a hard time remembering the name of this VST. Uh, you'll notice that it's all stuck. So when I hit my low my low tom on the USB drums, it's a snare. So by default, that's how it's set up our MIDI controller. So we just go to our presets and pick the preset that we just saved, which in this case was stick. And if you remember, my low tom was the floor tom, so we'll hit it right now and see if it remembers. And it did. So there you go. Any questions, just uh, post a comment. I'll do my best to answer it.